Hey Scorpio, welcome to your 2024 yearly reading. I am Charlene Lozette. We are going to pull out 12 tarot cards along with a bunch of oracle cards. And then we're going to do in-depth love at the end. So get comfortable as we dive into this reading, okay? Interesting. We've got the Two of Swords starting off January. Queen of Wands, the Death card, Page of Swords. I'm going to pull out all the cards here. Um, before I dive in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Wow. The year where you take control, Scorpio. Wow. Okay. Um, there's a, a certain type of mystery to you, right? There's a certain type of um, like hidden or in, like inquisitive part of you that not many people get the opportunity to um, get to know, right? You're very, you're very secretive. Um, it's what makes you great detectives. It's what makes you... Um, you know, great at investigating. That's why you're good at money. Like, you know, you've got all these really incredible, like psychological, like you're powerful in psychology. Like you've got all these, these powers, right? What I'm seeing happening, uh, a big theme anyways, for the month or for the, the year of 2024, is that you are entering into the uh, big time, you don't give a F era. And what do I mean by this? I mean, you are no longer going to be caring about upsetting people, making people feel uncomfortable. You're no longer going to be caring um, about um, other people's perceptions of you, other people's uh, judgments of you. You're, you're no longer going to be playing small, quite honestly. What is truly, truly at the base of your energy is a deep, deep transformation in the way that you talk about yourself, in the way that you look at yourself in the mirror, and in this relationship that you have with yourself. You have the amulet Sana. This is from Starcy Jewels. It's my jewelry line. If you want to pick it up, it's in the description box below. Sana is all about healing your heart chakra. Sana is all about cracking open that heart chakra so that you can learn self-love, self-worth, self-respect, and heal whatever pain, trauma you have experienced in past relationships so that you can call in your soulmate. People sometimes think that like these transformations are instant or in a month or in a week. Sometimes they are. But what you are doing in your life will require you to have patience. The shift that you are creating in your life is one of deep, deep transformation. One where the phoenix rises from the ashes, but in a whole new level and and it's like you are the leader as you've always been, but you lead differently now. There's a different aura to you, a different power to you. I don't know if you guys have seen Avatar 2. Um, I don't want to ruin it all, but in Avatar 2, I think it's Avatar 2 or Avatar 1. I don't remember now the avatars. No, Avatar 2, I think. Um, uh, the main character um, ends up um, uh getting a, a big bird, right? It's a, it's a big bird versus the mini, the smaller bird that they all fly. He's able to tame it. This taming of this energy helps you to become so much more powerful. We have Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestors, stay, see the light by staying grounded. You will be receiving so many downloads this year, okay? I think your psychic abilities are going to be heightened. You're going to be receiving a lot more information than you typically do. If you want to learn more about that, I would encourage you to um, get a reading done with your astrology or do your own astrology and take a look at what transits are happening. That'll help uh, to tell you. With patience here, except that everything happens in divine order, the universe is massively creating disruption and catalyst change for your highest good. 
with Lord Shiva and transcendence, it says, rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Um, it's like, be, you know, pre-2024, you had this fire, right? You got fire. You're, you're, you're Pluto. You're transformative. You're always shifting. You're always evolving. You're always changing. It almost makes me feel like, let's just say this fire was like, I don't know, this size. 2024 and beyond, the fire just it grows tremendously. Even the fact that you've got butterfly maiden transformation, you're experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings and Taurus. Your finances could be getting a huge change. You could be leveling up in your sensuality, your self-worth, your money, love, beauty. You could have even a transformation, uh, like physical transformation really um show up and be present. This reminds me of one of my students who took my Align course when I did it live um, back in 2022. When she took the Align course, the first time that I saw her, there was a certain like, almost like she wanted to be cracked open, but she didn't know what she was cracking open to be. And I said this to her, I said, you know, you come into this last reading, right, into this last session with me, because I did it live back then, it wasn't pre-recorded. Um, now I've converted the Align course to be pre-recorded so it's more cost-effective for you guys. You still get 90 minutes with me. Um, um, but yeah, she came into the last one-on-one -on -one session with me and I said to her, you're not the same person that you were when we first started this. And even if you look at her now, it's been two years, right? 2023. So I started, the course was, um, the course was March, 2022 is when we started. So yeah, it's going to be two years in March because I continue to follow her on, on, on YouTube. Um, if you're watching, hi, hi. Um, like seeing her embody her essence, that transformation was, it was wild and all aspects of her life transformed, right? I think back in the day she worked in retail. Now she's dived deep into her soul purpose, her life purpose. She's evolving. She's growing. Like that's what you're doing this year. I, mean, I told you the story about her because when she's a Scorpio, she has Scorpio midhaven. So she's got all this crazy Scorpio energy, but like that's the essence of your year where if you were to take a picture and a video of what you look like and how you behaved and your mannerisms and the way you talk at the moment of watching this video versus what you're going to look like at the end of 2024, they are two different people. It is you 2.0. It is you supercharged. It is you upgraded. It is you make over. We start off the year with a two of swords. There are decisions that you have to make that you may not necessarily want to make in January. They could be uncomfortable decisions. They could be decisions that mean letting go of people, places, environments, um, maybe relationships, whatever, right? Like they just, a lot of decisions here where you feel like you're torn. And so because you're torn, you're like, maybe if I just don't make any decision, that'll be better for me. Now, as we move into February, you've got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is charismatic. The Queen of Wands is charming. The Queen of Wands is confident. The Queen of Wands also has the black cat, the intuition, the psychic abilities. So in February, it's almost like whatever power was missing or whatever was missing in January is found. As we move into March, this is where the big transformation starts to happen. The death card. Here you are showing up in your reading nice and early. And you got transformation here as well with uh, Butterfly Maiden. You are shifting, you're transitioning, you're realizing that the old parts of you have to die in order for the new parts of you to be born. When we move into uh, Mar uh, April, sorry, we got the Page of Swords. Expect heavy communication, a lot of learning, a lot of exploration, a lot of studying, and a lot of communication. Also, a lot of realization where your triggers, where your wounds, where your traumas come from. What I'm seeing from this reading is there, there are ups and downs throughout the year. The main theme is you recognizing and realizing every single thread that is keeping you limited, that is keeping you stuck, that is keeping you blocked, that is stopping you from stepping into your purpose. When we move into May, we have judgment. Don't be surprised if during May time, a massive, and I mean massive, spiritual awakening happens. One where maybe you realize that you want to leave your relationship. You got codependency, deception, wedding. Maybe you realize if you are in a toxic relationship that the relationship is toxic. 
maybe what you're doing here with this judgment card is answering the call from the universe. Universe is asking you to step into your soul purpose. Maybe you were afraid of stepping into your soul purpose. Maybe you felt like you weren't worthy enough or who was going to listen to you or is that even your soul purpose? You know, all that narrative, the, the, uh, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The self-limiting beliefs that come in. Now, as June enters into your life, June and July are going to be incredibly, incredibly transformative times. Not only is everything that is not serving you falling down to the wayside, like literally goodbye, good riddance, adivaderti, bye-bye. But on top of that, you're also gaining massive clarity, massive clarity. This, this summer is going to be a summer that you will remember as you mature, as you grow more wise, where you will look back on this month and go, uh, on, on this summer of 2024 and go, whoa. That was the month where like literally all the tiny changes just snowballed into big change. So what could that look like for you? For some of you, it could literally look like moving houses, moving careers, ending a relationship. It's like that big catalyst change, right? You also have one, two, you have three major arcana. So these changes are, I mean, that's the death, judgment, and tower. So they're potent, potent transformation moments in your life, okay? As we move into August, we have the Four of Cups. Obviously, it makes sense after massive transformation to get into this place of like, Oh, did I make a mistake? Um, feeling bored with your life, feeling unsatisfied, or even feeling like maybe you should revert back to the old habits, the old patterns. But that's going to be very short lived because one thing that is for sure is that in these moments where you're kind of looking back on your life, you're realizing you leveled up. There's no way you could go back there. Whether that means you try and go back to a romantic partner, you try and go back to an old job, you try and like relive your like life as you did before, you can't. You can't do that. You can't go back. You have changed and transformed so drastically, so dramatically, Scorpio, that it is impossible for you to go back to who you were. Now, September, October, sorry, August, September are those big months where you start realizing you can't go back. That door is closed. And in October, you might try and fight that a little bit. You might feel a little bit defensive, especially as we get into that Scorpion energy, right? Scorpio season, end of October, okay? You might be feeling the competition, the fire, the strife, um, the need, right, to manifest or co-create or bring these things in your life to fruition. But what universe does for you as we move into uh, November and December is the universe helps you to put down the burden, put down the weight that you've been carrying, put down the difficulties, put down the transformation, or sorry, put down the hardship so that you can experience the transformation. If you think about a snake, um, a snake takes a while to shed its skin. And it makes me feel like once you hit November, the, the, the full shedding is done. The full shedding is done. So that November, December, you can finally step into your power and launch yourself into incredible success. For a lot of you, I do see um, romantic relationships that are not serving you uh, coming to completion, ending. Uh, for some of you, your friendship circles, your um, choice in career, your work-life balance, your habits, there's like big shifts here happening. In the beginning of the year with codependency, deception, and wedding, for some of you, if you are married or you're in a committed relationship, like I said, that relationship is coming to an end. Yeah. I, and you're realizing that you can't stay there anymore. Like you've fallen out of love with this person um, or this person may fall out of love with you, but that's okay. Can I get one more card, please? Because you're realizing now that you can't, you you can't stay with someone who's not willing to grow and evolve with you, okay? Let me dive into this love here. Even the fact that you got Sana, there's so much self-love here, self-worth happening for you in the month or in the year of 2024. 
Let's see, codependency, eight of cups. Yeah, you're realizing these relationships, six of wands, deception, two of swords. This person could be really good at manipulating, okay, presenting a certain way and behaving another. Actions don't match words. Stay optimistic about your love life. The emperor, yeah, because you're transforming your life. You can't, five cups on required love. Yeah, you're realizing there's no way this is gonna work. And you deserve love, king of swords, yeah. Eight, you know, not to make this about me, but maybe if I tell you the story, it'll help you to understand. When I was going through my third spiritual awakening and I became a single mom and I realized that I didn't want to be in the relationship anymore, I tried to date afterwards. But every time I entered into these relationships, I was like, no, 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 no. Or these connections or these talking faces. I was like, no, 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 no. And what happened was, that, remember I said to you, you're going to get to that point where you're not going to be able to go back. I got there, right? I got to that point where I was like, I'm trying to date the same type of guys that I used to date, but I'm not the same type of girl anymore. And that's a big realization you're having here is that you're leveling up. And so, so is the type of partner that you will be attracting. All right, Scorpio, that is your yearly reading. I'm going to pop this video here to help you manifest the best 2024 ever. If you want to book a session with me, take my nine week transformation course, pick up your amulet or work with me in any other capacity. It's all in the description box below. Thank you so much. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.